I'm Anthony L. Elmore. I live in Memphis, Tennessee. I am best known in Memphis, Tennessee as the five-time world karate kickboxing champion. It was in 1987 where we wrote, produced, directed, and starred in the first movie of anyone, black or white, we produced the first independent film called The Contemporary Gladiator. This video calls upon Shelby County Assessor Marvin Burgess Jr. Unknown to most, however, Marvin Burgess Jr. is the best African American leader to emerge from Memphis in the 21st century. As Memphis' first independent feature filmmaker, we call upon the city of Memphis, the county of Shelby, and the Shelby County Film Commission to formally reach out to Shelby County Assessor Melvin Burgess Jr. to assist in the African American Orange Mound film production, Rock and Roll, A Black Legacy. These are the facts as we know them. The first Memphis Independent feature film per the loss that was made in Memphis per the Los Angeles Times. Note that on November 22nd, 1987, the film The Contemporary Gladiator began filming in Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis Chevy County Film Commissioner Lynn Sittler failed to notify the Memphis media that Memphis' first independent feature film was not only filmed in Memphis, records show that the movie was not only being filmed in Memphis, the film was also being produced in the historic African American community of Orange Mound, and the film was shot by an African American film crew living in Orange Mound at the home of Anthony F. Elmore. Lynn Sittler, the white film commissioner, used her privilege and authority as a white woman who supported, who is supported by both Memphis and Chevy County mayors to erase the black Memphis film history. There is no African American elected official in Memphis who has the courage to challenge this white woman on her extrication of black Memphis film history. Assessor is calling into question a $1 million payment in lieu of taxes or pilot program that helped incentivize the filming of NBC's now canceled courtroom drama based in Memphis, Bluff City Law. Well, WMC Action News 5's Chris Luther shares his argument and the response from the Edge board. In order to encourage Comcast and NBC Universal to film the NBC courtroom drama Bluff City Law in the city of Memphis, a package of incentives was created by state and local governments. One of those incentives was a $1.4 million pilot program abating taxes that Comcast would have to pay to Shelby County. Shelby County Assessor Melvin Burgess held a press conference Tuesday morning criticizing the pilot. But yet we're still giving out incentives that we say is supposed to help Shelby County, but yet our schools are still suffering. We got blighted properties. We still have crime. We got, I mean, it, it, it's still, to me, I, I just don't get it. Burgess is calling on Shelby County elected leaders to challenge this pilot and attempt to recoup the lost tax revenue since Bluff City Law was canceled after only one season. We need to have some conversation on what's beneficial and what's not. I mean, you know, I mean, for this county. And this is a very, very difficult time that we're facing now in this county. Shelby County Assessor Melvin Burgess is working with the community as well as business and government leaders to save Orange Mound and bring it back to its historic status. And he joins us this morning with an update. We first talked about this, what, about six months ago? Yes. So first of all, why Orange Mound? I mean, it is the nation's first African American, true African American sure. neighborhood. Isn't sure. that why it's so important, not just to Memphis, to the, but to the nation? Well, what has happened, you know, in my job, of course, I just didn't want to be the person to sit there, Mary Beth, in my office, and just continue to assess property and collect property taxes. So, you know, when I look at the role and I look at the property values all over, you know, I found out that Orange Mound property values were just going down at a, a tremendous rate. Orange Mound is the first community in America built for blacks by blacks. In 2016, First Lady Michelle Obama named Orange Mound a preserved America community. 
Our movie, Rock and Roll, A Black Legacy, is an Orange Mound movie that preserves the culture and history of Orange Mound. While Michelle Obama is on record as naming Orange Mound a preserved America community, the white film commissioner, Lynn Sittler, is on record as robbing Orange Mound of its status as the birthplace of Memphis independent filmmaker. Let us be clear about practices. When a white person purposefully erases black history, that is called racism and white supremacy. Instead of us insulting the spirit of Michelle Obama, who names Orange Mound a preserved America community, we should not let this white woman, Lynn Sittler, who refused to come to Orange Mound, who does not want to come to Orange Mound, we should not let her tarnish the spirit of First Lady Michelle Obama. Chevy County Assessor Melvin Burgess respects Orange Mound. He knows our community and he is our elected official, unlike Lynn Sittler, who is an appointed official. Most importantly, he has the names and addresses of everyone in Orange Mound. We want to inspire our communities here, inviting residents to be a part of our movement. We are not a neighborhood, but we are a community. The best rehabilitation we can make in our community is our extricating white supremacy and racism out of our culture. White racism has made Orange Mound the poster child of ghetto America. Filmmaking is a community effort and is inspiring and positive to our community. Just as Memphis Chevy County Film Commissioner Lynn Sittler thumbs her nose up at our community of Orange Mound, it is our tax dollars and the people who we elect that can change her. This communication is to Memphis attorney, Alan Wade, instead of us working with the indifferent and the perfunctory film and tape commissioner, Lynn Sittler, let our office work with our beloved Chevy County Assessor, Melvin Burgess, Jr. Thank you. What this nigga say? Okay, good for you.